Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, January 17th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. I want to revisit this beautiful icon that I have found. The vision of Ezekiel, the icon is full of information. Three layers of divine encounter from Emperor Charles and his soldiers with Ezekiel and the Virgin Mary to those saints who pray for them to Christ himself seated upon the throne with these cherubim and creatures around from the book of Revelation and from Ezekiel's vision. And Christ is ruling over all of this chaos and all of this encounter and seems calm in the midst of all of it. able to encompass so much. God has no limits to intimacy or encounter, but can reach all dimensions and know us profoundly and deeply still. It's really unfathomable. We continue this morning in Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. Paul says something really important. He's always saying important stuff. Now this I affirm and insist on in the Lord. You must no longer live as the Gentiles live in the futility of their minds. In the futility of their minds. I looked up the ancient Greek for that word futility. It means worthless, vain. What Paul is trying to tell us is to get out of our heads. I don't know about you, but I get in my head, especially sometimes in the middle of the night. I'll wake up and I'll be thinking about all the problems of work or relationships, all the things I should have done or didn't do or could do or would have done. And that, that, that worrying, it, it can spin. Our minds are not in and of themselves healthy alone. The futility of your mind, Paul says. Get out of it. Practice the disciplines of Jesus, but don't think too much about everything or try to solve the world's problems in your mind because your mind is vain and it is easily tempted and its exercises are futile. It's not your job to solve the problems of the world. It's your job to follow Jesus's footsteps and let Jesus and Christ himself solve the problems of the world and the Holy Spirit and herself. The immensity of God is what can defeat evil, not you in your silly little mind running around in circles. So my friends, let's listen to these words of Paul and leave behind the worthless practice of worry and anxiety. And instead, let it go, let the wheels spin, they will. Go back to sleep, go to work, go to serve and give and pray, and just do what Jesus would do. Remembering that it's not our job to solve the problems of the world. That's what God is for, and the angels, and Christ. Just do what you are called to do and let God be the savior. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bring us in safety to this beautiful new day with new possibilities that lie before us. Call us into your service. Help us leave behind the worries and anxieties of our minds, knowing that they will continue, but learning to walk in your ways despite the thoughts that may assail us. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are weary, those who mourn, those who are hungry or homeless, incarcerated, addicted, mentally ill, we ask you to bring those who are lonely into relationship, 
those who are isolated into community. We ask, Lord, that you would give the whole earth peace, wisdom, and understanding. We ask that you would call us today into the service that you would have us to do, to walk in the footsteps that you lay before us, making wise choices for the benefit of the world. And we ask, Lord, that you would give us a reverence for this beautiful earth on which we walk and breathe and eat and have our being. Help us to give thanks for its majesty. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loves us and who gave himself for us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.